Hi, darling. Oh, hi, darling. Hi, darling. Hi, darling. Hi. How did you go at the airport? Um, Mussy was asleep. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mussy fell asleep about 15 minutes after oh. eating his chips and nuggets. And Jeffrey had a box of chips and nuggets. <laughs> oh. And, and Mussy fell asleep about 15 minutes after that, so... And he slept for a good hour, had a good sleep, oh. but he was asleep when we got to the airport, so Jeffrey just kissed him on the forehead and oh. left. And he got he got um, on an earlier flight, which was great. He's home now. He got on a one thirty flight. Oh, that's so good. Crew. That's so good. Yeah, it's good. Um, and Mussy slept all the way home, and I pulled into the garage, and he woke up, and then he got very coy with Mel and hid behind my dress, and na 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 na. And I said, Why? "You're really not awake. Not awake yet, Bob. Just wake up a little bit." I'm oh. How cool is this leather shop? These guys are a pop-up store and they're in the city and then they've come like they they pop up everywhere and I remember because I bought a leather jacket ages and ages and ages ago from this brand, not from Vera Moda, but they have all different brands like they just take back stock because that's pretty much like what the industry is like right now <laughs> retail shopping but it's GNS oh my god I remember I always talked about my leather jacket and they have a pop-up store in here how cool is that leather is on trend guys leather is on trend long leather jackets are so on trend did you see Fendi's show how is this? I look like I'm off the friendly runway. Look at that. It's very matrix, but oh, it's so on trend, you got It's really bad lighting in here. Look at this one. This one's got an actual collar. You could belt this if you had like a, a Gucci belt or my Hermes belt in the brown side. Oh, cute. redoing my sister-in-law's master bedroom she wants a zhuzh a bit of zhuzh in her master so I'm just in Pottery Barn doing a bit of scope work what I want what vibe we're doing and yeah it's going all good Leo. hello I said, I said to Mussy, do you want to watch the real Transformers? Mommy. The grown-up Transformers? Mommy. You know, with Elijah Buff? Yeah. Oh my God. Mommy. I'm pretty sure it'll give him nightmares for like ever. I watch me. <gasps> so do I. Let's go. Okay, let's go watch a Minion. At all? Excuse me, mummy. Excuse me, mummy. Can I please watch minions? Minions. I didn't know what it was. Minions. So now, home, mum, D. Nice looking. <laughs> and relaxed. Now I have bath the babies. The baby one and Mussy. And they um, are going to start bedtime really soon. I'm just putting some dinner on for Mussy. He loves sausages. 
He's a very, very picky eater, but he likes sausages, so we roll with it. And with Zaki has had his omelette. He loves egg omelettes and he's getting so good at eating solids and pick up chunkier food and learning how to chew it. I did put it on Instagram stories. I'm very active on Instagram stories. If you have an Instagram, you should follow me. If you don't, Tarush Katula, same name is here. Um, but yeah, so he had his dinner and did really well. And I'm gonna put him down soon. And then what I usually will do is either just know what Will's doing to make him dinner or not. Usually not because it's just really difficult with a restaurant and a chef because he's restaurant, you know, he's cooking or whatever and he'll just eat there. And, uh, but you know, a few times a week I might have something on for him when he comes home or whatever and have that prepared. And yeah, I'll probably just eat a salad. Pretty boring. Or I'll just eat Mussy's leftovers. Also pretty boring. But by the time I get them into bed, I'm just so, I don't have an appetite. I'm so over it. So that's kind of like where I'm up to in my routine for this evening. <laughs> they want to see your smiling face. Is that your number one? Let's get your number one. Come on. Are you holding it? This is his number one balloon from his. Look at you! Are you one? A piggy. A piggy. Um. Piggy. That's the cutest picture. Good morning. <laughs> so it is another morning um it's a weekend actually and my mother-in-law got home from dubai last night so we are gonna go and see her hang on a second we're gonna see her take the babies he turned one. Oh. one oh oh when it's on, it's on. Is that what you just said before? <laughs> hey, where did they come from? Where did they come? I thought I threw those out, those, those chinos. Oh, should I be checking them out? When it's on, it's on is what he just said. I didn't know what he was talking about. He's talking about that he feels good. You no. look good. <laughs> I got my laundry back. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, so the update of our morning is that we went to visit my mother-in-law at our family home and they weren't there, they're at my sister-in-law so now we're going to her house um, to see them and take the boys say hi Mushy 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 you're not? You're not going to say hi? You don't want to go say hi. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes. We are making a cup of tea. Good job. And something just arrived. I want to show you guys. I want to. Open it with you. Ta da! Hello. Okay, this just came and I want to have a look at it, so we're looking together. Together. So here is proof of purchase. This is technically what you should get in an online order. So here is the item and here's a shopping bag. That's nice. It's always such a nice little touch that they do that so and this is funny this is very funny when I said what I've sold and why 
video is to fun Chanel. This was a piece that went and because Ta-da! <laughs> because the four ring key holder is discontinued, God knows why, I sold my six ring to fund Chanel in all the things that I sold, but the four key is discontinued and this came up on the site and it's the six key and it holds a card. So I was like, let's, let's snag it while we can. Here is the textile card. When we say textile card, this is what it states. Coated fabric, cowhide leather lining, and then it has it in French. And it's just obviously like a form of a skew, a form of an information card. So that's our six key ring. It's got Louis Vuitton Paris made in France stamped there. It's got Louis Vuitton on the bar here engraved, which is nice. And then six of the keys and this little slip that goes all the way through holds a credit card, which is so good to swipe on my mum's condo. So I repurchased it and it came up. I'm going to tell you, oh, it's a little bit, a little bit wonky. It probably will change shape if I have the car fob in it, which I don't. It's good alignment though, but it's a little bit, is it a bit more? It's okay. Um, I will tell you, if any of these kind of items come up on the website and you have the money at the time, get them. Uh, not only is there a price increase, I think it's next week, coming, but they are scarce as I don't know why they've like pulled back so hard but these canvas items which are great starter pieces like this is an amazing starter item and a lot of girls on the Lux have said do a starter item like this because it's kind of like a little card holder and key holder all in one and if you have just you know used cards and not really cash it's perfect for you and I totally agree uh, but they're really scarce. So if you see them like I saw this and I just grabbed it, do that if you can because they're great little items and they're becoming rare and it's sad. So this, which I'll tell you the price, is M62630, sorry. The, uh, the multi-clay six key in monogram and in Australia it retails for $335. So that's that price. I don't know if we've had the price increase yet, but that's that I want to show you. So I stopped in at David Jones yesterday and I just wanted to show you what I grabbed. This is the Armani setting spray and I actually went to just try out their um, Luminous Silk Foundation. Surprisingly, I've never tried it out in all these years. I guess of being on YouTube and it gets so raved about. But they didn't have the colour that she swatched for me or whatnot. They didn't have that in stock so she gave me a tester. And then YSL next door gave me their blurring primer as a tester. They didn't have any of that in stock either. It was kind of a running theme. But she had this in stock. So this is a setting spray. I'd call it a mist. It's definitely not like a, a spray as such. It's like a mist. See? Yeah? Okay, one minute I'm coming back. Uh, but it smells beautiful. And I wanted to try something a little bit different to my MAC prep and prime spray because that's just like a little bit too wet for me I because I use quite a lot um, it's quite wet then next door in the display area David Jones Mac had all their um, like super famous nudes they all their famous nudes just all together in a display so I have had these before back when I lived in my city apartment I just didn't really repeat buy them but these are just all like the four really famous ones. So 
subculture stripped down whirl and um, boldly bare so that's just literally a mixture of pink nudes brown nudes mauvey nudes i guess you'd say and if you hear weird noises mossy's playing with the balloon <laughs> the balloon pump downstairs he wants to blow up balloons so i picked those up as well from david jones but that was just a little haul that i grabbed from there to show you i have been using this dior non-stop i've already used that much of it i just spray it on like anything so these are my two perfumes i used to be a massive perfume hoarder and in huge sizes as well but i came to notice the big size is not for me this unless it's angel Angel is the only perfume I wear that's worth it in the big size. Other than that, I just get like a 30 or a 50 mil and that's a perfect size for me. And these are the two perfumes I'm rocking and have been <laughs> basically. All my others have definitely expired by now. But I want to show you that. I thought I'd just flip the camera around and sit here. I'm sorry I look hideous. I've, I've just got home literally, just walked in the door. I got my hair coloured today. And I got my nails done in my ombre French. She did a really, a really good job today. Actually, I was super happy with them. And yeah, I wanted to do this because I've been asked so many times lately, please do what's in my bags. Please do what's in my bags. You don't do them anymore. And honestly, I, I honestly didn't really even notice. I think... As YouTubers, we just get like sidetracked with whatever content we're working on. So I apologize, I have not done a what's in my bag, but I'm gonna do one on this video. This is my brand new Louis Vuitton Palace BB in the, it's called full black. So it's like a blackout or like a so black, which basically just means these are leather handles. So the treated leather in black you have the leather in here, the leather um, piping there, and then you have the leather pleat gusset, I suppose you'd say, on the side. Whereas that used to be canvas, um, and only this was leather, and then this was vachette leather. Uh, it's still the canvas strap, which is nice. But in the unboxing, which I'll link here, I showed you that I can pair it with my reverse monogram strap and any other straps I have, which is really good. If you want an adjustable strap, if you have a pochette Matisse or you have a Speedy B, you can put that on it. This is the bag. And I tell you what, guys, this is definitely my new replacement bag for the Speedy B 25. Definitely. It holds not as much as a speedy b but that's not a bad thing it holds everything i need and more and i think that's all that matters you don't have to sort of you know hoard tons and tons of things but this is a true what's in my bag because honestly i just walked in the door and there is stuff everywhere i don't usually keep my bag like this a hundred percent i'm not cleaning it up for you guys down and then the then there's the front and back pocket which i will show you as well uh, but let's go ahead and show you. So straight up in the front, wet wipes, bacterial hand wipes, because there are a lot of viruses around in the world. I am an absolute germaphobe as far as it goes, let alone a pandemic of a coronavirus. Here is my baggie for my Gucci's. Here are my Gucci's. That's not good. These are my Gucci cat eyes. They were just sitting on in my bag. That's not great. They should be in the baggie. I have... Then this is what the layout kind of looks like now. You can see better down inside. But that is a mess. I will tell you one con. I guess it's just like easy access. Here is my phone. It's an iPhone 8 Plus And... If you don't sort of look to see where the front of the bag is, so there's the Louis Vuitton Paris stamp there, that's the front. That means that the pocket is not there. The pocket, the slip pocket is here on the back. If you don't sort of know that it's the front to slip your phone in, you slip it here and it's going to hit the pocket and like stretch it, like push it down because you're trying to sort of think nothing's there. So does that make sense? So you just sort of know that it's the front if you want to slip it. Otherwise you can slip it in one of the magnetic compartments. Fine, it fits 
perfectly. I sometimes do that, however, I don't particularly freak out. This was a case, someone asked me, a marble case from Target. They're everywhere, these marble cases. It's just like a thin case. And then I have receipts, so just receipts slid down the side and kind of tucked down the side. I have my wallet, which is my uh, Chanel Zip O case, zip around case in the black caviar with gold hardware. My rest of my items are just sort of in a line like so, which you can see. And that would be my mini pochette in Damir Ubin fantastic someone asked me if i'm going to get a monogram I totally want a monogram can't get one I have to use my personal shopper this has got ladies products spare cards spare gift cards points cards my business cards it has my laura mercier um um laura mercier lipstick i showed you in one of my sit down videos and it has my oh a hair tie two hair ties and it has my dual lip maximizer. This stuff is amazing. Oh, sorry, not lip maximizer, lip balm. And this is so amazing for like a nice little tint. I've raved about that stuff before. And that is all that's in my mini pochette. And then it looks a bit more like this. Can we see? Ooh, there you go. Black micro suede lining shows up the dirts. This is my portemonnaie or round coin purse from Louis Vuitton in monogram and I've just got coins in that at the moment. My keys are in my uh, Mahina four key holder from Louis Vuitton in the Galay and then AirPods. Should totally have these in one of my little mouse or cat but I just haven't got round to putting them in. It would look so cute as a little bag charm actually as well. And then floating around the bottom is my Chanel Eternal that I also showed you recently. Sorry, recently in a sit down video. It's a beautiful pinky nude. So that's the main body compartment empty. These zippers are so beautiful. Then the slip compartment on the back, which is great for throwing things in. So I have a business card, I have two car parking station tickets and I have a couple of receipts here returns for cotton on and David Jones but that is the main body compartment and slip compartment empty and yeah I tend to zip the zippers up like I don't put them in the middle I know like when we're showing bags and everything we put them in the middle but what that actually ends up doing is creating like a kink if you put Louis Vuitton zippers always in the middle like if you have a speedy and stuff it can create like a kink if that makes sense like a little bit of a shape here in the middle so sometimes it's nice just to keep it open to the end so the zipper is completely smooth like that in the front magnetic compartment these are truly the best part of this bag as well as you know just the nice glamour nature i have my little T sabo thomas sabo hoops which i wear regularly because the hoops comfortable so that that pocket empty and then this pocket oh look wow so it's like a junk drawer basically <laughs> you can just throw everything in here so here is my car key with the drag on strap we have some cash, see, I've just thrown it in. Cash, receipts, cash. See, this is when it gets bad. Eyeliner, eyeliner from Bare Minimals and um, LA Girl Cafe Lip Liner. This is where it gets really bad. My Gucci Pearl Earrings, what? These are so, these are so beautiful and really expensive and I've thrown them in my bag. And the worst part is, is I've also thrown coins. That is not good. That is bad, tut tut bad, Jerusha. So that's convenient pockets can get very tricky like that. Where you just throw stuff in if you're in a rush, if you're in a line. I don't enjoy holding up lines to put stuff away in my bag. Now that I have shown you, I did notice a little like I obviously it's online I checked it over I showed it to you guys but I did notice 
a little bit of something. What did I notice? Oh yeah. So there's this tiny little, can we see? Can you see this thread here? It's almost like they went a stitch too far up here. One stitch and it's not on the other side. I will keep an eye on that, obviously. Hopefully it will not pop, obviously. Keep an eye on that. But other than that, as I said in the unboxing, I didn't know if it was the actual Palas BB or it was this bag. The, if you get a Palas BB and it's not perfection, shout out to Linda. She didn't get she didn't get a, a non non perfect Palas first. She got the um, the soulful, I think the soulful and it was in the alignment was out and then she went back and she exchanged for this and she was so happy with it make sure when you get this it's just perfect because this when it came out of the box it was so perfect it was so like it was just so smooth and beautiful and just sat so well so for the price of this bag which is up there um definitely always you know accept nothing less than beautiful and perfect so that is it guys i hope you enjoyed this vlog sorry if it was kind of all over the place but i wanted to do another vlog um because you guys like them so much and yeah i'm gonna let you know that i will put this vlog up tomorrow and then i'm vlogging because mum and I are going somewhere special together. So I'm going to take you guys with me, which is a really big surprise. My godmother and my god sister are in Australia. So we're going to go see them. So yeah, I'm going to take you guys with me, which will be really exciting. If you enjoy these vlogs, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for all your thumbs up lately, guys. Like, it's so good. I, I said it in my last couple of videos that it's so helpful for our channels. You know, YouTube's becoming really strict. And as YouTubers, it's becoming a little bit difficult and tricky. So giving thumbs up is just reiterating that our content is clean and good and we stay in the algorithm nicely so please go ahead and do that if you want to subscribe i would really appreciate that and yeah i hope you stay tuned for my giveaway my louis vuitton giveaway of my airpod holder and i hope everybody is doing really well guys take care peace